Good, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Yes, hi, welcome. We're back again. We're playing more games here on Pastiche of Skin, and today we're playing a little bit of Titanfall 2. Now, guys, um, I enjoyed the hell out of Titanfall 1 back on its original release on the Xbox, but my biggest complaint and annoyance with Titanfall was, of course, its lack of a single player campaign and an actual kind of like a depth to the universe. That was available now i don't know if this titanfall 2 demo is a multiplayer only or if it is a single player campaign taster but i'm hoping i'm hoping for the single player campaign taster that's what i want i want to i want to play the first what 45 minutes half an hour of that that would that would rock my socks come on ea surprise me make me love you love to love you baby Ooh, love to love you baby Obviously, they're not big fans of uh, intermission or interstitial music to connect them up to their loading screens. So they're just going to let me sit here in absolute silence and meander to you. <gasps> All right, so there is campaign content there available to play in the trial. Now, um, purchase Titanfall, purchase Titanfall. So the only thing that we can do is the training in the campaign. All right. Alright, ask fine. We might play in the full game, but we'll do the training, see what we got. Um, and I'm not a big fan of this. On a demo or a trial of a game, making me agree to a user license license agreement. You are fuckers for doing so. I'm not a big fan of that at all. Wow. Yeah, I can barely see the darkest image. I don't know if you guys can see it on stream. But that's a bit fucked. <laughs> that brightness is a little bit fucked. Ooh, live action Titanfall. Is this live action? Of all the things I've seen on the battlefields of all the things I miss, I miss my mind the most. Ozzy Osbourne. Fast and agile. Graceful, yet devastating. Perceptive. Resourceful. And relentless. A pilot sees the world differently. <laughs> I see it in Parkour's vision. Walls become flanking routes. Pilots fight differently. Experienced in deception and maneuver, even overwhelming odds shift in their favor. Nice. This is a pretty badass fucking intro video. The grunts and machines of the battlefield. And my butt! Between a pilot and a titan. Time to kill! To a Titan, a pilot can only be stopped by an overwhelming force or an equal. <laughs> Sword type. The frontier has been the only home I've ever known. For years, our lands have been destroyed by the IMC, forcefully taking our resources, polluting and destroying our planets, and killing us off if we try to resist. Despite recent victories at Demeter and beyond, we have a long way to go before the IMC is defeated. This is a pretty epic, long intro. I serve as a rifleman in the militia, fighting to free the frontier. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. But when that day comes, I hope I can live up to the honor. Well, it's time to find out if we can live up to the honor of a pilot. You're not a pilot yet, son. This guy reminds me of the dropship training where they actually did virtual training with the guy in the first one. Where literally you are in a pod and then you get out of the pod and then battle, time to fight. Ah, balls. Oh, and on else to continue. Right, let's see. Pilot's gauntlet. 
Here we go, right? Oh, cool. Oh, hell. Ship must have power cycled the sim pod since last time. We'll have to recalibrate it. Okay. Does that feel right to you, Cooper? All right, we're good to go. Let's see how much you remember from last time. Setting the neural link. Not quite the same as a Titan link, but it's similar. Think you start? Noon! We need to be in the right state of mind. Ah, much better. Technically, I'm not supposed to be training you, but in you I see potential. Besides, we're at war. Who's got time for classes, eh? Here you go, up and over. Let's pick up the pace, enabling jump kit assist. Jump kits operate on the principle of relaxed stability. Once your jump kit calibrates to your movement style, enhanced mobility becomes second nature. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, yes it is beautiful, but we're still running. Planet of Harmony. This is where I grew up. Ha ha! Now you're moving. Under here, stay low. Aha! Aha! Beautiful double jump. Follow the ghost. <laughs> I'm running! I'm gonna let you try and keep up with me. Haha! <laughs> Delicious better organized now. More people join every day. People like you. In combat, things never go as you expect. Load your weapon. Gotta take him all out before we can win. Ah! Ah! God damn it. Different weapon this time. Grab another one off the rack. Good. Practice more if you want, then head to the gauntlet. Running, running, running. All right, got a new gauntlet for you to run today. Part time is two minutes. Follow the ghost, find your own path. Violence have to strike a balance and come. Speed is paramount. You must also hit your targets. The gauntlet is where we practice the skill until their second nature. <laughs> so close. Try and keep it under a minute, but not that didn't work. Nice run. See the results board on the wall? You set a new best time. Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses, so be sure to run this a few times with different weapons. Look at the results board for more tips on how to improve. Yeah, there you go. If you want a real challenge, you can race against other pilot ghosts. Word of warning though, the pilots who recorded these ghosts are the best in the SRS. If you can beat them, you'll be on your way to being a real pilot. Go ahead and run the gauntlet as much as you want. When you're done, I've got something special to show you. Yep. All done with the gauntlet? Yep. I'm ready to see what's next. Good. Happy days! It's time you learn the other half of being a pilot. Woohoo! Let's go call one in. It's about time. I'm, I'm ready. That's the spirit. But first, we're gonna need a little more space. Yeah, really? Cool. Works for me. 
That's my partner, BT. He's the Vanguard class. Homegrown militia technology. First Titan chassis we designed ourselves. One we didn't have to steal from the IMC. Go ahead, Rifleman. Call on your first Titan. Look up in the sky. There he is. Oh! All right, Rifleman. Sounds like it's about to hit the fan. I'm pulling you out. Powering down all known essential systems. Cooper! Ready up! Easy, Cole. You just left VR. He needs a minute to decompress. He'll be ready to go. Trust me. Yes, sir. Yeah, let me the fuck out, guys. They're killing us. I'm trying to, anyway. Good session in there. You'll get the hang of it someday. We'll make a pilot out of you yet, Rifleman. But not today. No time. Last of Mosa. Anderson. You son of a bitch. See you down there. We're gonna see a new planet today. Maybe even die on it. This is quite charming. See you down there, Rifleman. Good luck. Yeah! <laughs> All good. Get your ass out of the Simpod, Cooper. Meet at the dropship. Okay. Time to get into the real. Let's start trial mission. Why wouldn't I? Let's rock and roll and I try the trial mission. A little bit slow on the load here, though, but kind of should be a little bit faster. Well, especially considering the fact there was a lot of time there spent with just the cutscene playing. I mean, what, what is it? What is there a thing that stops a game from loading assets for the next bit while someone like that is playing? Just just because there's a lot of time spent with um menu screen or like with um good grief. Hey, wait, am I in a suit? Oh no, I'm not. Huh. Get moving, pilot. Alright. So you tell me what to do. Pilot, I see the beacon up ahead. Scans detect minimal power functionality. It may need repairs. Okay, BT. Caution. I'm picking up multiple contacts. Where? Hostiles confirmed. The stalkers appear to be programmed to attack the control room. Caution. I detect traces of poisonous chemicals within the fog. What is this fog? Scanning. The ground fog is a toxic byproduct of the beacon power grid. I recommend you embark when operating in hazardous environments with greater than 1 ppm tungsten hexafluoride. Embark and we will move out, pilot. Boom! Inside my body. Pilot. Get inside! Pilot, I'm detecting militia forces inside that beacon control room. They are signaling distress. Oh, you start messing with loadout. Hey! You out there! Pilot! Are you reading us? We can use some help over here! This is Captain Cole for the 3rd Militia Grenadiers! We're getting overrun by stalkers! Please assist! I recommend we help eliminate these stalkers, and then make direct contact with the Militia Riflemen.
neutralized. Well done. This victory has raised our combat efficiency rating. BT-7274 to militia forces. All threats have been eliminated. You saved our asses. Those stalkers just kept on coming. We may not have lasted much longer. We're opening the blast doors. Come on in. Pilot and Tiger on the lift. Court, bring them up. Let's go. Right away, sir. Captain, what is the status of the beacon? The power is shut down. We've lost all control of the beacon. We need something like this to jumpstart the system, but this one's destroyed. Designation. Arc tool. Function. Generates power up to five megajoules. Yeah. Yeah, we know what it is. Can you repair it? Nah, we already tried. Sensors indicate another one in the substation, but it's nearly impossible to get down there. This place just ain't built for humans. Understood. Pilot Cooper, I advise caution while navigating this facility substation. You must recover the arc tool. Good luck, sir. Hope you make it back. We've lost too many down there. Good luck, pilot. Time to have some fun! This is the time that you have to actually check your logins and check your <laughs> details. I was thinking to see if there's any messages from the chat there while I was actually kind of like jumping between these levels. Because load times are a bit slow. I mean, it's not... I shouldn't really complain too much. It's just that we're in a modern age where load times are starting to extend again. Rather than whenever we actually had to switch to CDs and stuff that actually meant that load times were near... Near... Near unconscionable. And then got so much better, and then we started making the games bigger, and then of course having to load more stuff. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just bitching and moaning for no apparent reason. We're hoping you can handle it, pilot. It looks like they can turtle up to protect their heads. That's why they're so hard to kill. Who is this loudspeaker talking to? It's not like these tin cans speak English. Maybe they can. We're doing our best down here. Pilot, more stalkers are expected. We'll hold them off, but they'll be gone too long. This place is run by machines. There's an elevator around here. The last pilot in our unit went that way a few hours ago, but he never came back. Be careful. Pilot, I have patched into your helmet display to monitor your progress. The channel is open if you need assistance. BT, <laughs> what's up with these walls? Scanning. Exposed power circuits. You should avoid physical contact. Proceed forward with caution. Got it. Oh, navigation fun. Like that. Me likey. <laughs> oh, it's something really gratifying about being able to navigate like that. I, mean, I can feel my legs tense as I'm playing, but it's just something really gratifying. Whoa!
Now we're getting into close quarters, now I might actually use a slightly different weapon. Is this where I'm meant to be going? I feel like it. Just keep running, just keep running. Must be somebody in us here. No. No, that was an empty room. Oh, right, this is the other way to get across, rather than actually run across the gap that I did. Eh. Alright, fair enough. Works for me. Right, running, slide! Okay, so... Wait, what? Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. So, running. And then jumping across this way. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that was a little bit close. What is this place? The station's computer details this location as the power grid for an IMC interstellar beacon. Not good. What the hell? Yeah, nope. <laughs> Didn't make it. Somehow I managed to land on a platform there. <laughs> Alright. Probably not the best way to do that, but I managed to make it anyway. That was flashy, but effective. Me up, is it? Retune laid angle on turbine 9 to 1.87 degrees. Uh oh. Oh, well, shit. You have to press a button. Bypass is successful. The fan exhaust is offline. Do not be afraid. Your jump kit can take that fall. Yeah, you know something going on completely I was searching through these hallways. I actually enjoy I'm enjoying exploring a Titanfall world with nobody just not for me except for whatever bad guys I need to fucking the fuck was that? Okay. Those kind of bullets work. Anything that actually like gets carried by the wind or has a slow trajectory? Doesn't. Running, running, running! Also, I'm enjoying the fact that I'm doing a, t a mission that doesn't require the Titan the entire time either. Um, is this under control? Doing exactly what I thought I was gonna do. What it do? Okay. Where is the arc reactor that I need? I mean, obviously, it's 
showing me use the arc reactor there, so I'm assuming I have to pick it up from somewhere along here. And I don't know where that might be. <laughs> Is it down here in the tables? Is that way it was down here? Find someone? It was arc reactory? Or did I fuck up? I feel like I fucked up. Whoa. It's a nice handgun, but um, I think I'll be fine without. So that's where the previous guy got as far as. Uh, see, I can't even get back up there, can I? No, I can't. Well, shit. So, have I failed this mission, essentially? Because I'm... Oh, wait, what? Oh! Oh, there it is right there. Woohoo! I have to make my way back. It's that one that I want to get. Hang on. Just running off the walls. Alright. Okay. We're good. So, where do I need to go next? Where did I come in? Uh, somewhere around here? Uh, I think. Nope. Where the fuck did I get in here from? Do I have to go back through? Uh, hang on. Huzzah! Yep, there we go. Oh, this is a different tunnel rather than the first one I was in. Reinforcements. <sighs> This can like I like this environment. I like the uh, the mild kind of like positioning puzzles. It's forcing you to do. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm actually enjoying the hell out of this. All right, I need to jump. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Ah. Think temperature at seventy five. I made it.
<laughs> oh shit. Um That's rock and roll! Hey -ya! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Boom! That's him! That's Now that Fuck yeah! <laughs> Control room. Those were some amazing ones. You must be stepping up the pilot training. It'll work out more if I'm gonna keep up. It's good to see you back here safely, pilot. But our tool is just what we need to signal the militia fleet. Woo! There's no giving up today, guys. That pilot went down there and got us an arc tool. We're still in business. <laughs> yeah, this is actually really, really enjoyable. The single player campaign moments of this are so much more fun than any time I ever actually was playing the multiplayer. The multiplayer kind of felt a little bit, you had your moments where you felt like a hero, but that was a, that was a nice choreograph, kind of like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Even though there's very little ways to actually get that wrong, that felt mildly challenging and entertaining to do. Yeah. Oh man, they didn't fall too. It was, it was one of those games that whenever it came out, people didn't give it as much credit as they should have, I suppose. Um, I didn't get around to playing it. It's just, again, other games were in my way. I think it was actually Titanfall 2 was probably around about the same time as the Final Fantasy release, was it? I think it was. Man, Titanfall 2, that, that, that's really fun. I think we just got to take it off, this dirt ball. Good work, Pilot Cooper. Now we can jumpstart the power to get the beacon functional. Cable secure, Captain. Glad you made it back, Cooper. Just in time, too. The system's rewired. Now all we need is some power. Pilot. The power chamber relays are offline. The arc tool should be able to jumpstart them manually. Cooper, let's hope that arc tool was worth all the time. Arc tool! High radiation levels detected ahead. Your suit will only protect you for a limited time inside the chamber. I suggest you move quickly. Oh well, shit. There too long unless you want to be burnt to a crisp. Okay, three. opening the hatch in three, two, one. Go! Fuck it! A reasonable assumption. Accord, can we bypass the module? No, sir. Not unless we want to send a message to the entire IMC fleet. Then the module is going to have to be repaired manually. Pilot, this situation could use your skills. I hope you're up for another trip to hell, Cooper. You'll need to repair the beacon on site and get back here as fast as possible. Transferring control to pilot. God damn it. Be careful. We've already lost a lot of good soldiers over there. Scans indicate a fallen pilot. My memory recalls this pilot as an exceptional fighter, proven well during the fracture operation. What's fracture? Fracture was the codename of a major combat refueling operation conducted by the militia on the planet Victor. We 
We sustained many casualties, but the fleet survived. Damn. we need to do my scans detect a functioning uplink targeting module 428 meters northeast my analysis indicates a throw is our only option here what I throw you across the gap that's insane wind three knots heading 274 range 95 meters you are seriously going to fastball special me 89 kilograms Fuck! Good throw. Good throw. You're welcome, pilot. Good luck over there. Richter, this is Blisk. Yeah, here's Richter. That damn pilot is trying to use the beacon. End this. I'm counting on you. Blisk out. All security units, this is Richter. Get to the beacon now. Find the kleine Mann and lass mich nicht hängen. Whoops. That didn't work. Yeah, that didn't work at all. What? This is Blisk. Yeah, here's Richter. That damn pilot is trying to use the beacon. End this. I'm counting on you. Blisk out. All security units, this is Richter. Get to the beacon now. Find the kleine Mann and lass mich nicht hängen. Copy that. Zulu 1 Kilo 1, move in. Alpha 2, get soldiers on ground. Move in! Looking at this going, like, is there anything I can do? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Makes sense. Whoop. Perfect. Whoop. Thank you. IMC dropships headed to your location. This is actually kind of awesome. Right Down you go. Boom. <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? Oh, that kind of sucked. And what was it meant to do to stop him? Or was it just to run past him, probably?
I don't know what I was meant to be doing. Uh, L1 is useful. Ah, oh, for... Ah, yes! I didn't even think about the fact that I can go invisible. Hindsight. Hindsight. Oh, man. How am I long have I been playing? It's 40 minutes. This is a good demo. This is actually a very fun demo. For a trial mission, this is quite impressive. And I know it's my failures that are actually making me feel. <laughs> Shit around. Uh, boom. There we go. Boom. Oh, keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Yep, that should be it. Right, so now I need to get over there. Hup, hup. Not gonna make it. <laughs> Damn it! I was thinking there and not gonna try. Um, it's, um, can I move the other one to actually be match in place so the two of them are side by side? Is that a possibility? Yep, there we go. Alright, that's cool. That should be fine. Perfect. Yeah? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, time to free run up. Need to actually get momentum to get up there, do I? Shit. Okay, um, let's try this side. Hostile pilot sighted. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Kilo 1 4, do you copy? Come in, Kilo 1 4. All units, Kilo 1 4 is not responding. Prepare to engage the target and beacon 4. Copy that. Position of beacon 4 gantry. Standing by the intercept. Too many guys. <laughs>
Use arc grenades. Okay, so that's what that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use arc grenades for these guys. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Uh, I got you. Just gonna make sure I'm not recording. Fuck! Deploy the stalkers. Damn it. I'm trying to bull rush these guys to get out of the way, but I don't think I have a fast enough kind of spray and pray weapon. Oh, Jesus. Damn it! Did I just get blown up by my own grenade? Ah! Uh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! See, I'm liking the fact that I've got a way to get past these guys immediately. It's like, oh shit! Come on! It must shoot! Boom! Got up here before them. Get ready. Director, the pilot's intentions are unknown. He may uh, be to draw us away from the Titan. Yeah, I need to get up there. Focus on the pilot. I have other plans for the Titan. Oh, God. This is terrifying in its own way. Um, yeah, I'm going to run this way. Just so I can get every set of guys on the way that actually will protect my ass. Right, there we go. Good. You are at the controls. Move the dish to the far right to bring it within your reach. Woo! Get it within my reach. is in the projector of that dish. <laughs> oh, man. Take that hatch, pull the thing, put it in my pocket, and get the fuck out of here! This is heavy! Protocol 2, mission update. Uplink module acquired. Standing by for your return, Cooper. 
caution. Entering maintenance mode. Fucking hell. Fast on Teufel! Damn it. Anti-Titan squads have arrived, requesting assistance. No! Shit! Damn it! Almost there. Almost there. <sighs> I'm engaging hostile infantry. Hit the zip line! Move! Move! Welcome back, Cooper. Recommend we secure this area before proceeding with the repairs. Control the machine. Good shot. Talker down. Reaper down. Warning. Detecting hull damage. Damage report. Critical systems are functioning properly. And despite your self-evaluation, I'm certain Captain Lastimosa would have said you fought well, Cooper. Thanks. Protocol 2, mission update. Replace the uplink module. The socket for the module is at the top of this dish. A throw combined with additional climbing is required. Alright, toss me, you big son of a bitch. Alright. Fuck! Which way do you want me to climb? This is high. Really, 
obviously I'm gonna have to shoot this at someone, aren't I? Oh shit. Um Alright. Good. Gotcha. Uh, there's three. We need to get up, so we're gonna go around this way. Let's see if there's any oops. Ooh, helmet. The cross Dunbad man's helmet. Oh, ah, sweet. Cool. So up an extra level. No. Oh shit. Uh shit. Shit, shit, uh... Hmm. Will this work? No, we can't run around that way. I was, I was like, wondering if there was actually something I needed to run against. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Shit. Motherfucker. the dish but I'm trying to think of where the nearest wall and I think that is the only way up huh. oh fuck did I make it woohoo Oh wait, shit, this is exactly where I was when I ever started. I need to get up there. I need to get up there. Hmm, puzzle time, puzzle time, puzzle time. We gotta get up the oh oh wait, hang on. Oh yeah, I know exactly what I need to do. Okay. That was a close fall. Another way up. Another way in. Have I gotten in here anywhere? No. Nope. Oh well, there we go. Gotta go this way. Oh shit! God damn it. Well, I might as well just let myself die that time. So I'm looking this way, so I'm assuming I have to go this way. Oh wait, shit, there we go. Huh. Wonder what was going on. I am vent trash. Ah! Come on! Bastards. Huh. <laughs> Sometimes when you hit that a little bit awkwardly. <sighs> the dish will automatically reorient itself once the new module is installed. Sweet. There we go. I've been carrying this on my back the entire time. Taught yourself how to do the thumbs up. Fair lady, man. I also lost my gun. Cooper, the dish is back online. Get back here and we'll send this message to the fleet. Outstanding work. Richter, this is Blisk. Yeah, I yeah, I'm already on my way. Richter out. This is Richter. Intercept and destroy their pilot. Then execute the remaining militia troops. Reapers inbound. Militia forces. Lock down the control room. Threats detected. Copy that. Locking down. We will assist from here.
possible hostile type. I am C Ground Squads. I'm looking for someone to promote. I'm also looking for someone to kill. You get to choose which one you wish to be. Und jetzt mach ihn fertig. Don't let him leave here alive. Target me, Joy, watch it more. Care to have a real fight? Let's see what you got up. Look at the party, director. Bad life, me kleiner Junge. Oh, you serious? <laughs> right, is whenever you get to the actual Titan on Titan fight. Yeah, so definitely, definitely a plus thumbs up, cool beans. That was awesome. Titanfall 2. I really enjoyed that. Sorry to hold you guys for so long. That was an hour and two minutes for me to play through that. But wow, that was actually a really enjoyable experience. I'm looking forward to actually get my hands on and playing through the single player campaign of Titanfall because that was exactly everything I wanted the original Titanfall to be. And I know I'm late to the game. I know I'm late. Damn. I mean, I remember people saying it was like, it's a good single player game. It's actually a damn good single player game. But, um, I, I, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, I wasn't going to pay for it at full price at the time. And it did drop in price pretty quickly because of its, uh, timing. I think Titanfall 2 came out at the same time. What does, Titanfall 2 came out at the same time as the one that actually ruined its big, um, big single player enjoyment. Could it possibly have been Overwatch at the same time as well? Was Titanfall 2, Overwatch, and, uh, Battleborn all out at the same time? It could have been a possibility. But my god, Titanfall 2 was, that, that was really good fun. I hope you enjoyed watching me play it as well. Um, me shouting my lungs out every once in a while while I was playing. And um, if you enjoy watching this kind of experience on the channel, me discovering games that uh, everybody else obviously already knew about, then uh, feel free to actually hit the subscribe button up at the top there and you'll be able to see more. If you really want to see me play through Titanfall 2, say in the comments, like and share it and all those kind of things. Uh, that way you'd actually probably get the exact same experience from me and with the other consoles in future. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. That was actually really, really enjoyable. And I just realized that my PS3 turned itself on. Well done. Well timed. Just to remind me that what we're going to be doing from this point onwards is going to be some retro games on the PlayStation 3. The timing is everything. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, it would help if I actually had a control pad in my hand, though, to stop it from turning itself off. But anyway, I'm going to let that do whatever it needs to do. Um, yeah, Titanfall 2 was... That was a really good game. Um, everything from the controls feeling tight... The, uh, the the puzzly late nature of the rooms and the locations and the, um, really immersing you in the free running to actually enjoy. Really interesting banter between the robot or from the Titan and the pilot. I want to know why they actually are together in the first place. I'm assuming the original owner, your man, died on the first mission and then you get kind of given that Titan as a hand-me-down to survive. Goddamn entertaining game. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'd love to look forward to seeing some more of it. But like I said, if you actually want to see more of it, make sure to hit the subscribe button and comment underneath and share this video around and say that you really enjoyed it. And if you actually don't want to do that and don't want to actually follow and search and subscribe, well, don't want to follow and subscribe and have the notifications, if you want to find me, just type in Pastiche of Skin. All you need to do is remember the name, Pastiche of Skin, Pastiche of Skin, Pastiche of Skin, Pastiche of Skin. And just type it into Google and you'll be able to find me anytime you feel like. And I'm not really hiding. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disappearing from your eyeline anytime soon. So make sure to actually check it out. And uh, guys, of course, if you're actually watching this on YouTube, boxes appeared up there. Up there will be a box stanchy showing you uh, other videos in the cold open series that I've had here on the console. Uh, most recent video on the far side over there. And right there to the middle, uh, that is a video for you based on YouTube analytics and all the details it has about you to sell you that this movie this video is a thing that you will like on my channel, so go click it and check it out. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you dudes in the next Titanfall. Bye.